folks. I was trying to create some space in the lab by creating some nesting tables. So essentially a bench and a desk that would nest inside each other. And this is what I ended up with. It turned out much better than I expected. Still partly unfinished, but it'll give you the idea. So the idea uh, came off, you know, by some doodling I was doing on paper, which you see the original one. So the desk and the bench nest into each other. And uh, on top of the bench, there would be storage space plus door, drawers put in the uh, bench and the desk. The desk would roll out from under the bench to be used separately. And I was also thinking of making side tables, which I might get to, which would be useful to hold lab equipment. And all of it could be kept in a compact kind of footprint. So starting with assembling the tables, I had a, a big slab of wood from a free cycler, which I think was a dinner table top. And I calculated how to get the best way out of it so I could get uh, uh, fragments for both the bench and the desk. Made the first uh, cross cuts with a Ryobi 18 inch uh, 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 saw, but it was pretty hard to actually uh, get long cuts. So for the long cut, I had to use weird clamping methods and then uh, an actual electrical saw to make these cuts, which went well. So my first cut delivered the uh, piece, uh, which would be for the bench, and then the smaller pieces would be used to assemble the desktop. Uh, this is me just kind of cutting slots in the uh, in the bench slab uh, and to this I will attach a wooden 2x4 strip at the back. This is both to extend the size a bit because I couldn't exactly get the right size from all my calculation on that wooden slab and also to reinforce uh, the bench. So once I'm done with the cuts, this is the wooden strip cut out of two by fours where I cut uh, slots for the biscuits. And you can see all the slots are cut here. This will be glued on to uh, the uh, the bench top. And you can hear it's in the process of being clamped. I also drilled holes and screwed uh, the panel in place just to make sure it was incredibly strong. Uh, once the glue was dried, I started on the smaller desktop. So again, I made a 2x4 strip to which I attached uh, the different pieces which I had harvested from that uh, slab of wood. Biscuit sorts were cut, cut into the side panel and uh, a, a central piece was glued on. Uh, again, everything was with biscuits. And finally, the last piece was uh, glued on in this one panel. The actual desktop was made from the three small pieces and a larger long piece in the in the front. Then the next step was making and attaching the le legs to the top panels. So I cut cross beams. Some of them actually ended up not using, but you can see the shape cross beam. And uh, side frames were rectangular frames which were used as legs. So I cut it on a bandsaw and pre-drilled a hole so I could assemble the frame relatively easily. And here I'm assembling the frame uh, for just gluing it on and then screwing from the ends into the wood to make sure it's kind of screw and glue would hold this thing uh, well. I cut curves in the uh, front legs of my frame uh, on a bandsaw. Uh, it was a lot more work than I anticipated, but I hope you know it improved the look a bit more. And then once this was done, the frames were assembled and dried and then I attached them to the top panel by uh, screw and glues. Here I'm attaching leg braces to which I'm going to attach caster wheels. The caster wheels had a bigger footprint than uh, the 2x4. And you can see the caster wheel resting on one of the things. It was harvested from a Harbor Freight dolly. It's cheaper to get the wheels that way. I also cut some L brackets from 2x4s to add some reinforcement. For in a piece of two by four, I just mark squares. Then at the in at the intersection of the diagonals of the square, I cut a large hole with a hole saw. So I then think these wooden plugs will be pretty useful later on, make for knobs or something. And then I cut out the squares on a bandsaw, and then I cut it on the diagonal line to get the the braces. Holes were drilled. And then these braces, you can see, were used to attach the cross members to the side frames. So uh, and then I actually left the desk panel against the garage door and opened the garage door, not realizing the panel was resting on it. And it, 
I, it broke off the corner. I was actually quite surprised. Fell pretty violently and the corner broke off. Decided to glue it back together, hoping it would hold because the modern glues are pretty good. It was in the process of being of being glued. Uh, and in the end, it didn't really matter. I think it worked out gluing it. So now I'm ready to start on the desk. So the glued panel, I put it on top of my bench. You can see here. And I'm attaching the leg frames and the cross beams and the little L-shaped brackets, just as I did for the bench. Uh, and then I cut leg braces uh, for, the, for the caster wheels on the bandsaw. And then these were attached to the... Uh, the side kind of panels if you want to call it that the glue and screw as before and if you notice the uh, the wooden braces are facing inwards it'll be more clearer here uh, when i created uh, the bench the wooden braces were facing outwards so this would essentially help the wheels from crashing into each other when they're rolling uh, pretty close to them and then screws were attached and finally the caster wheels were attached. Again, they were from Harbor Freight uh, dollies. Now in this picture, all four wheels are on and you can see in the back, the panel, the, uh, the top panel is there. I was debating putting a support strip under the top panel, decided not to. I might have to come back to that later. So here it is done and then I trimmed the right and I messed up cutting the right. You can see the slot not quite far in so i filled it up and used screws to support that slot cut and here it is the desk on the left and the bench on the right turned out pretty uh, good and you can see the desk uh, nest uh, very nicely inside the bench uh, just another view i still have to trim the front you can see it's popping out from uh, the thing uh, I had a, this uh, box of uh, Java gel stain, which I'd used for my front door. So I said, let me try it. And I put some on the cross beam and it was looking pretty good. So then I started uh, doing it on the side frame. Uh, it said, okay, you know, before I find, do it, let me go ahead and cut, uh, uh, trim the front of the desk. I put this wooden guide strip that you see behind, screwed it on, and then used the uh, craftsman to cut that. And here it is cut and trim. So a lot of sanding, filling holes, etc., and re-sanding and applying the finish, plus a coat of polyurethane on the sides and the cross beam. The top panels were uh, finished with a walnut stain and multiple coats of polyurethane. I still have to make drawers, which I'm going to put in a future video and uh, some other stuff to it. Thanks for watching. Bye.